Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Maddie. I'm guest hosting this week, and welcome back to Cheap Thrills. Um, on this Monday holiday, we're kind of all a little bit tired, and the best way to clear that fog is a good old cup of coffee. Northampton is known for its many, many coffee shops, so we're just trying to make the choice a little bit easier, and we're going to find the best one today. So let's go sip some uh, coffee and get caffeinated, my friends. <laughs> Just to set some ground rules, we're gonna all get small coffees and they're all gonna be black so we really get the flavor in there. Okay, yeah. so we got a small black coffee and they got a bunch of different flavors in there. Unfortunately, we couldn't film inside because it's gotta th go through some like upper management, whatever. I got the toasted coconut cream because like that's the classic, super, super good. I think it was like 328. First taste test of the day. It's really hot. It's very mild, not as bitter as other coffees. I don't taste the coconut. Yeah. Wait, it might be toasted hazelnut. <laughs> I just know, okay, there's a little tag on the coffee thing and it's like, instills optimism. And so when you're sad going to school, like this is, this is the cup of joe for you, man. So share coffee, too expensive. I forget exactly how much, but it was like almost $3 for like, no, yeah, it was like so two, it was, I think it was also like two twenty five for like eight ounces of coffee. You get the first test. Okay. Smells good. Mmm. Very hot. Oh. Like too hot? Oh. Very, very bitter. Maybe, maybe a dark roast, perhaps? Mmm. It's mm, got no, hot. like... It's just bitter. This tastes more like the 99 cent gas station coffee I had the other night. It's like fine. It's way too expensive for what it is. If I liked bitter coffee, this would be the coffee for me. Honestly, if I think I think if I put that in a lineup next to like dirt cheap coffee or like Dunkin' coffee, it tastes like a real simple. Really? I would say it like tastes expensive. Does it? Hang on. <laughs> Bold, that's the word. Bold, yeah, like that a is bold a good word. Flavor. That's a good word for it. I would give it a five. solid five out of ten. Just because if I liked expensive bitter coffee, that would be that's what I would drink. Yeah, maybe like three point five. Average. Fine. It's Average. Like too expensive. It's too expensive to taste. All fine. coffee don't think. That's what I'll say. Alright, so we will catch you back at yes. the final review. We're here at Sam's. Here's the 99 cent coffee that Nico has been talking about this whole segment. Um, it was actually 106, Sorry. so it's not 99 cents. But um, yeah, so we're gonna give it a test. Green Mountain Coffee, I don't know what that means. I don't know if it is Green Mountain Coffee. Yeah, like it's, it's just it's just some coffee. So it's very hot. It smells like 99 cent coffee. It's actually pretty fire. Honestly, I was kind of messing around, but um, this is like kind of on par with like both Northampton really and is. Cher, and it cost a dollar, and it's the same size as the Shelburne one. It's like yeah, it's like a hefty one. Twelve ounces, twelve ounces of coffee. Yeah, they don't they don't mess with no eight ounce coffee here. No, it's a little bit watery, but like it's ninety nine cents, so like. Price per ounce, this might be the winner, yeah. but like... Honestly, it kind of tastes the same as, um, all of them. Except Shelburne. Shelburne has like a unique taste. Okay. Or your palate isn't. <laughs> I'm not a coffee expert like Nico. I'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10, just cause it's Whoa. so cheap Whoa. for me. Like it's so cheap and like, I don't drink that much coffee, so if I was to get a coffee. I would probably just come here because it's 99 cents. You get a good amount, 12 ounces, and it tastes good. I guess solid like six, seven. No. Light seven. Mid of like six, six or seven, six or seven. That's it. All right. Time to recap. All right. So, so final verdict. This is our coffee tower. We started off with the Shelburne. It's good. Best one. My favorite one. Solid eight. Number one. Number one for me, Shelburne. Uh, number two. I would say yeah, Green number Mountain. Two, yeah. Tied for last. Northampton and Cher. What about you? I would also say these two were the best ones. 
This one just had a good like hint of something that was not coffee, which may or may not have been coconut or hazelnut, we don't know. Um, this one, just a good bang for your buck. Cheap thrills. These two, yeah, I don't know. Too expensive, too small. Didn't taste that great. They so. literally cost it exactly the same. These were both like two twenty-five each for like eight ounces. Yeah. This was like three twenty-five, and then this was like a buck. All right, guys, thanks for coming on, along on the caffeine adventure. Thank you to Maddie for guest hosting. We will see you uh, maybe next week. Peace.